In this uh, video, I'm going to introduce you into solving um, smaller systems of equations using Gauss-Jordan elimination with augmented matrices. So basically, uh, if you don't know what a matrix is, a matrix is just a rectangular array of entries. And in most cases, it would be numbers, but it could be other elements. Uh, these are a few matrices. This matrix is has two rows, one, two, by three columns, one, two, three. This matrix is a square matrix because it has one, two, three rows by one, two, three columns. And this is a row matrix. It has one row by one, two, three, four columns. And then this is a column matrix. It actually has two rows, one, two, by one column. And... Um, Sometimes when you're working with matrices in a different text, you might see that uh, they identify the entries in the matrix using subscripted letters like this. Usually use capital letters to represent a matrix and then small letters, lowercase letters, to represent the elements in a matrix. So here, this is A11. This just means that the first row, first column element is 2. And then A12 means that the first row, second column element is negative 1. And then A13, first row, third column is 3. Second row, first column elements 4. Second row, second column elements negative 1. Second row, third column element is 0. Now, the, to solve a system of equations using augmented matrices, the first thing you have to know how to do is write a system as an augmented matrix. So basically all an augmented matrix is, it's where you take two matrices and you augment them together. So if you take a look here at this system, you see on the left side of the system, you could see this, you could view this as a matrix where the matrix was just the coefficients here. Two for the coefficient of x, one for y, and then one here for the coefficient of x, and then three for y. So you could write that as a matrix 2, 1, 1, 3. And then on the other side, um, you have the constants 8 and 9. So if you think of that as a, as a matrix, then you can put that matrix with the matrix of the coefficients, and you get what's called an augmented matrix. And in an augmented matrix, you generally need to have a vertical line that separates the coefficient value from the constants. So here, to the left of that vertical line, you see the coefficients 2, 1, and 1, 3, and to the right, you see the constants 8, 9. Uh, here's another example, and again, uh, before you actually write the augmented matrix, make sure that all of your variables are on the left of the equal signs. All right, so here you can see the coefficients would be 1, 2, negative 1, so we put that in the first row, 1, 2, negative 1. And then here the coefficients are 2, negative 1, 1. So you would put that in the second row. And then here the coefficients would be 1, 3, negative 2. Put that in the third row. And then the uh, constants are simply the numbers 1, 6, negative 1. So we write them in their respective places over here in the uh, last column, 1, 6, negative 1. So if you're given an, a system like this, you obviously need to be able to write it in augmented matrix form. Also, you should be able to go the other way. If I give you this system, you should be able to write it in as a system of equations. Before I move on, let me just mention one thing. If there's not a, if there's not a term in one of these equations, then you would just put zero. So let's just say for a minute there, there, there's no x term in this equation. Well, then that would just mean that you would put a 0 right here instead of a 1. So just keep that in mind for later. Okay, now, there's three legal row operations that you can do uh, for augmented matrices. And uh, the three legal, legal row operations that, that can be done are as follows. You can interchange or swap any two rows. 
you can take one row and multiply it by a constant as long as that's, that constant's not zero. And you can multiply, you can take a constant multiple of one row and add it to another row and replace that row. So basically, you can swap two rows, you can multiply a row by a constant, or you can multiply a row by a constant and add it to another row to replace the other row. So there's no rhyme or reason to the row operations I select below, but let me just share with you, if you had a system like this, 2, 1, 8, 1, 3, 9, now the solution to this system is actually the numbers x equal 3, y equal 2, because we actually solved this system earlier using non-matrix uh, uh, application. So here we have uh, 2, 1, 8 for the first row, 1, 3, 9 for the second row. Now what I'm telling you here when I say these are legal row operations, if we were to swap row 1 with row 2, which is what the double arrow means, then that tells you that this, the fact that this is a legal row operation tells you that the answer will not change. So the, so the solution to this system is 3, 2, and if we swap the rows, the solution to this system would still be 3, 2. Uh, you can also multiply any row by a constant. So let's just say I wanted to multiply row 1 by 3. Now again, there's no real reason for doing that. I'm just showing you that I can. So 3 times row 1 and replace row 1 with the result. So we're going to multiply 3 times row 1 and we're going to put the new result in for row 1. So if I multiply this by 3, I get 6. If I multiply this by 3, I get 3. If I multiply this by 3, I get 24. Now again, the solution to this system and the solution to this system would still be the same it would still be the same solution 3 2. Now the third row operation you can do is you can multiply a row by a, by a constant and add it to another row and then replace that row with the result. So if I multiply this row by 3 what you might want to do is just think about it what would happen if you multiplied that row by 3 well if you multiply 2 by 3 you would get 6 1 by 3 you would get 3 and 8 by 3, you would get 24. Well, now we're not changing this row. Um, we're actually just doing this on scratch paper. So, so if I multiply this row by 3, I would get these values. And then we're going to add it to row 2. So we'll add each of these to row 2, and we'll put the result in row 2. So if I take the 6 and add it to the corresponding entry in row 2, which is a 1, I get 6 plus 1, which is 7. If I add it take the 3 and add it to the 3 in row 2, I get 6. And if I take the 24 and add it to the 9 in row 2, I get 33. So again, uh, this augmented matrix would actually have the same solution as the original augmented matrix. So when I say that these row operations are legal, what I mean is if you perform these row operations to an augmented matrix, it won't change the solution. The solution would still be the whatever the solution was to the original augmented matrix. Okay, so I think I'll go ahead and shut this down here uh, now that I've introduced the row operations and then I'll show you how we can use these row operations to solve systems of equations in the uh, next uh, video.